Welcome back to Grill This, Smoke That. Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean up your big green egg when it gets pretty nasty. You can see all the buildup on the grate. My dad has two different big green eggs. He has an extra large and a large, and this large has not been used in a while, so the grate gets all disgusting. First thing we're gonna do is remove the grate and the convector, plate setter, heat deflector, so that we can check the charcoal. If the charcoal is nasty, we'll throw it out, but most likely we're gonna be able to use it and we'll add a little bit more to it. So you can see the charcoal looks fine. And now we're going to get it lit and get a nice hot fire going. To get it lit, you see how he took his little lighter cubes and put them down inside the lump. It's better to put them underneath some lump than just sitting them right on top. We're gonna to get this lit and bring it up to about 600 degrees. Let's discuss the concept of clean burn that everybody talks about. I don't think you ever need to do a clean burn just for grease buildup because I think a high temp cook of around four or 500 degrees will take care of that for you. I never think that you need to get your egg over about 700 degrees. That's plenty hot for pizza and plenty hot to burn off anything that's in your egg. And I don't even do that regularly because it definitely torches your gasket. Now he has the Rutland gasket here, so it's a higher temp gasket than the big green egg ones that they sell. But uh, the only time I recommend doing a high temp clean is when you do have this nasty mold mildewy buildup in here. We're up to about 640 degrees. So we're gonna check our progress. Make sure you burp your egg when it's this hot so it doesn't have a backdraft on you. We did use a scraper to knock off all the stuff that was burning on the grate. But you see, we still have some work to go on these sides. If you wanted to, you could take a ball of aluminum foil and some tongs and rub across that. And some of that will fall down into the egg as well. So we got about 30 minutes now that we're up to temperature. And again, we're gonna monitor it so it doesn't get over about 700 degrees. All right, we're up to 700 degrees now. You can see the edges are starting to blacken. Those are gonna burn and fall down in it. The grate is pretty much done, nice and clean. You can take this ball of aluminum foil and rub it on the sides and everything will fall down into the coals and burn up. And you can do the same thing to the top of your dome. You can see where this flaking is going on. We're gonna go ahead and add the convector. Uh, we always wait until it's up to temp before adding the convector because it is not hard to get it hot with that uh, blocking the airflow. All right, we're about an hour in on this process. I'm gonna burp the egg again and show you that all the mold and mildew from the sides is gone, the grate is clean. The bottom side of the convector will be clean. It'll look like this pretty much. Um, if we left it going longer, the top would all bake off as well and turn back to clean ceramic, but I really don't think that's needed. I think once you've got everything burned off and it's fallen down in, you're good to go. So don't panic if your big green egg gets all of that build up on it. Just start you a nice fire, let it go for 30 minutes to an hour and get it all cleaned up. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. It'd be awesome if you'd click that logo in the bottom left hand corner to subscribe to my channel and maybe even check out one of my other videos shown on the right. As always, I hope you guys have a great day.